all right so um i wanted to film a video i don't i don't know if we're gonna post this or not um if we do it'll be after everything's finalized so that i can legally do this but um i kind of wanted to let people know like what you go through as a foster parent um or in my opinion how you what you should be experiencing as a foster parent if um your case isn't looking so good for the bio parents um so our girl's mom has been kind of MIA for a couple months now. Um, she missed the last court hearing and we have court on Friday. So um, it's not likely that she's going to be at court on Friday either. Um, And the case plan has been changed to severance and adoption. Um, every adoption story is different. Every child is different. Um, and every kid in foster care is different. We have some friends who've adopted from foster care and their children have been very excited to be adopted. Um, they don't have fond memories of their home um, and what they've experienced in the past. So they're excited about it. Um, our our girls, especially our older one, she's really attached to her mother, um, which is good psychologically because if she has any form of attachment to her mother, it is likely that she'll be able to to form positive attachments in the future. Um, it's just the cause of the where they've come from has caused her to develop not the best attachment style but there is some attachment there and so she can kind of learn and grow um so yeah so the their severance hearing is going to happen in march um if mom continues to not show then it, there is no really question there's no contesting it uh, because she's showing the judge that you know she's not gonna pursue being um, a positive parent in her children's lives um, but it's it's gonna be really hard on our girls uh, to get that news that they're not going home um, and I, yeah, I, we're being told that, um, we should not be the ones to tell them that, um, either their caseworker or someone else should tell them and it shouldn't happen at our home. They shouldn't be told at home. It should, they should be told somewhere else. Um. The problem with this, with that course of action, is that John and I don't keep things from our girls as much as possible. Um, it's just not how we choose to parent. Um, and... <clears throat> Having to take them somewhere and have someone else tell them that information, I know that one of the first things that they're going to think is like, well, why didn't you tell us? Um, and I know that they're going to feel kind of betrayed a little bit. So, the analytical side of me keep saying, you know, trust the experts. They know what they're talking about. We need to do what they think is best. But the mom and me, <laughs> the mom and me is having a really hard time not um, telling my children the truth. Um, uh, and, and 
that I don't want to have to explain anything to them now because it's not in their best interest I, I'm fine with waiting because realistically nothing's changed yet when a case goes to severance it doesn't mean that it's gonna I've said this before but it doesn't mean that it's for sure gonna go to severance it can go back and forth um, but once rights are severed that's kind of it um, so at that point if we know that rights are severed then and they and I I feel a strong need to tell them um, uh, but the fear is that the children will think that I made it happen if I tell them then they will think that I'm the one who me and John are the ones who made that decision um, Which, if they're going to think that, they're going to think that anyway. Like, these, this, my girls are different. <laughs> it sounds funny. Like, I know every parent thinks that their child walks on water and, and they're, you know, this special thing. But compared to other foster children, my girls are not normal. <laughs> and I think that's part of, that's part of why John and I have been is, because we parent them at their level. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know how it's gonna go. I have a feeling they'll tell the girls. And the older one will kind of fall apart and the younger one will hold it together until, you know, a few hours later when she's home with us. And then she'll fall apart because that's usually what happens. Um, denial is their coping mechanism. So that's probably what's going to, probably how they're going to respond. Um, but yeah, it's, 